Can you see me? Can you hear me? I see your hands. Okay. So you know sometimes when you have a box of rivets that are this long and you need rivets this long at 9, 10 at night and no hardware store is open, no around here carries quarter inch rivets? This is what you do. You grab one of your favorite sockets, you stick it on there like that, and you go a couple of taps. Now you have that. Now you follow just as shot. Pass the lawn chair where I'm sitting. And because I planned this ever so slightly, I'm going to set that aside for now. Because I already have one set up in the lathe. You don't need a lathe. You could snip it off with wild codes and file it back flat. But I have a lathe. Smoke them if you got them. And no, I do not have a DRO. Maybe one day. Get that money back. Well, I'm now machining through the camera, and that is, um, well, that's difficult. Yeah, that, that helps me greatly, actually. I like my little Enco. It's a tiny, crappy lathe, but it is uh, quite handy for a little look like this. We'll come back to do the other one. No, 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 no don't do that yet, Damien. I know you're trying to. One continuous shot because, well, why not? No cuts. I'm lazy. I don't like editing anything. If I have to edit it, it'd be a long time before I actually upload it. Now, reinsert rivet without bothering to debore it. Like so. This end goes on the table this time. And you give it a few love taps. One more. That was two. Can you count? No. Um, you want the ball end to touch that, otherwise... Focus! There we go. You want the ball end to touch this, uh, otherwise it does not pop consistently and you may have issues. Uh, but, uh, how to make a shorter rivet in a pinch? Where's the other one? I didn't do the other one. I just did one for video's sake. Okay. 